Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back. It's time to fill out our third bracket, the Tuesday bracket update. We'll also have the bracket where we'll go with betting odds and then I have, I'll have i do a random number generator type thing for another bracket, but we'll have a little bit of fun there. But this is the third bracket. This is serious bracket. So we'll have a bracket today. We'll have a bracket tomorrow uh, and then we'll have a bracket uh thursday more or it'll come out like thursday night it'll be thursday morning technically at like 2 a.m eastern after arizona state is over with uh because i'll get into it a little bit as we as we if once i see that game my picks may change but under the assumption i'll get to it once i get there but i'll have a little bit of an assumption to talk about so virginia moving on creighton um I'm going to take the Marcus Foster revenge narrative uh, against Kansas State, and then the health of Dean Wade and Bobby or Barry Brown, uh, I, I think is uh, is going to be a real issue for Kansas State. So I think Creighton gets gets it done. Um, still sticking with my Davidson pick, the high fly and Davidson pick against Kentucky. I think Davidson gets it, lights it up from three, like I've said, and pulls off the upset there. Uh, Arizona gets it done against Buffalo. Arizona, one of my favorite teams in the tournament. We'll talk more about that. I'm actually, I, I've been thinking about the Loyola, Illinois, um, uh, Miami game. It's it's really tough for me. Um, I think with all the upsets I'm picking, I'm leaning towards taking Miami instead of Loyola, Illinois. But for this bracket, we're going to hold strong with my Loyola, Illinois pick. So moving on, Nevada and Texas. Gonna stick. I'm gonna actually go with Nevada. Not gonna stick with my normal Texas pick. I've kind of flopped back. I think I'm thinking I'm gonna take the Morris twins. I, I, I still am not quite sure on the status of Mo Bamba. It's still kind of definitely up in the air. So I, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do. And so I, I think Nevada is kind of the safer prick. Um, there. He's expected to play. Uh, the issue is just... I don't know. It's just a matter of like... I don't know. What am I trying to say? Um, it, it's just a matter of how many minutes he'll play, which is the issue that we don't really know. So I'm going to take Nevada and the uh, Morris Twins. Uh, so moving on, Cincinnati. I like the Bearcats to get it done, and I like them to get it done against Nevada. We already know this. It's pretty much we're staying chalk in this bracket, so it it's Virginia Crate over Creighton, Arizona over Cincinnati or over uh, Davidson, Cincy over Nevada, and Tennessee over Loyola, Illinois. Um, I'll talk about it here with Arizona. Um, I they're either gonna come out on the the FU revenge tour. Um, you know, we've been under all this investigation and scrutiny. We're going to win the national championship. We're going to hang the banner. Uh, and then do whatever you want kind of um, after that if you want to, you know, you can't, you can't take, you can take away, you can strike it from the record, but you can't take our rings, kind of like what Kevin Ware said. Um, so I I'm rolling that train. I, I could end up dead in the water, but I really like that train. And I'm starting to come around on Tennessee. I'm starting to come around. We'll take them in this iteration of the bracket. I'm starting to come around on the Vols. I'm, I'm starting to come around on them to the Elite Eight, beating Cincinnati. Um, I think Cincinnati is the better team, but I'm coming around on the idea of the Vols beating them and making it to the Sweet 16, or to the Elite Eight, beating them in the Sweet 16. So that's something I'm starting to come around on. So moving on, Xavier... Uh, I still like Michael Porter with a week to get it done against Florida State. Uh, Ohio State, still liking them, still liking the Zags. Uh, yeah, I wish Gonzaga was playing, um, who is it? I wish they were playing Marshall, not Wichita State, because I would pick Marshall to upset Gonzaga, but we'll get there. We'll get to Marshall. Houston to beat San Diego State. San Diego State actually getting a lot of traction as one of the upset picks, but I like Houston and, uh, and the squad to get it done. Michigan over Montana. Still sticking with my Providence Ed, Ed Cooley pick to get it done against Texas A&M. Uh, North Carolina to get it done against Lipscomb. We're still setting up this Carolina-Michigan matchup, which is huge on my tournament bracket. And just simply for the sake of this bracket, I will take Carolina. Uh, just to have it be something different. Uh, but we're going to take Ohio State still over the Zags, setting up a matchup 
the Battle of Ohio against Ohio State. Still have Xavier taking this matchup. Um, not really coming around to the idea of Ohio State beating Xavier. Um, I do like Ohio State. The more I've looked at it and the more I thought about it, I do like Ohio State, but not going to take them over Xavier. So like I said, I'm going to take North Carolina in this bracket. Go a little different than uh, than the Michigan pick that we've been doing the whole time. So moving on to the to the East Regional bracket, like Villanova, uh, and then I still like Virginia Tech. I like Buzz Williams to get it done against Colin Sexton. I like West Virginia, and more I looked at Marshall, I think Elmore is one of those players, you know, we've had... I don't know, I can't remember all of their names so well, but we had Thomas Walkup for Stephen F. Austin when they went on their runs. We had Giddy Potts for Middle Tennessee. Uh, we had, I, I, I know, was it Middle Tennessee also had Upshaw, but it was Giddy Potts. We had um, R.J. Hunter for Georgia State. Uh, trying to think of the other upsets. They always had someone. Marshall has Elmore. I think once they pulled, I, I think... Um, it's kind of something no one's talking about is Elmore, and uh, more I looked at it, I, th I actually do think they'll pull it off more now than I did before. I was just picking it because I wanted Marshall to win, and it cost me like a whole like 10 points if they lose, but I actually do think more and more as I do this, I think they have a chance for the upset. I like Chick Chris Chioza in Florida, like I said, to get it done. Um, that's going to be a popular pick with UCLA beating Florida, but I, but, but I think Chris Chioza and company get it done. Arkansas and Purdue still holding strong with those picks, so pretty much chalk still here over here, and, and there's not much going to change my opinion here. I still think it's Villanova all the way to the Elite Eight, and I still think it's Texas Tech all the way to the Elite Eight. Uh, I just really like Keenan Evans. I think he takes care of business. Um, I like Purdue to beat Arkansas. I am coming around on Arkansas a little bit, but I don't think they get it done against Purdue, and I like West Virginia to beat Marshall. I like West Virginia to beat Wichita State, too. It'd be an interesting game. Javon Carter versus Shamit and Shaq Morris versus Canante. Uh, I think Dexter Miles would be the key in that game. Uh, but, I, but I do like West Virginia to get done either way. Moving on to the Midwest region. We have Kansas. I like them to get out of it. I like Angel Delgado and Seton Hall. We're doing the full upset special here. I'm sticking with the full upset special. New Mexico State. College of Charleston. I like the full upset special. I think Bruce Pearl did a great job this year, but they've lost some key players. I don't think they. I think. I think they're upset prone. And then, like I detailed before, the start times for New Mexico State just favors them so heavily. Nine fifty-seven. They get the late night game in San Diego. Just perfect setup for them uh, to make a Sweet Sixteen run. I do really like New Mexico State. Uh, moving on. Like I said, this is totally based on the fact that I watch Arizona State on Thursday or on Wednesday and they look like they give a shit and they come out and they actually Trey Holder and Shannon Evans perform get hot this is completely based on that if it doesn't happen then we're doing something else with this whole entire thing but Michigan State beats Bucknell I like Trey Young in Oklahoma like I've said I've, I, I want to see this matchup just personally um, I actually do think Oklahoma takes care of Rhode Island. I feel like they have something to prove, so they'll get a win. Not that you winning one game proves anything to anybody, but people think it does. So, still think they get beat by Duke. We'll come back to this. Already moved New Mexico State. Kansas has like the easiest route to the Elite Eight. It's so easy, especially if this upset happens. They have to beat Penn, Seton Hall, which shouldn't give them much trouble, and then New Mexico State. I mean, come on, but. I'm going to take the high-flying Arizona State. They have shown the ability. They beat Kansas at Kansas. They beat Xavier. They have the talent to do it. It's just a matter of are they hot or are they not. For the first 16 games of the season, they were smoking hot. For the last, what, 14 or so, they were ice cold. So what Arizona State do we get in Dayton? Do we get 40-point tray holder, or do we get, like, 13-point tray holder and Shannon Evans and they go home? It's just a question of which one do we get. Do we get the 40-point tray holder and 25-point Shannon Evans, or do we get just shit? So, I'm taking them to the Sweet 16. If I like what I see on Wednesday, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to take them there. Um, I'll probably have a bracket tonight. I'll talk about another bracket, um, uh, 
the kind of safe one that I'm going to insert. Uh, I'll record that one after this one. Uh, the kind of safer one, because I have brackets that are due tomorrow. Um, and so I want to, so obviously I need to have some brackets ready. And then I have some brackets due, like, before tomorrow tomorrow like night before arizona before i'll get to see arizona so i have some brackets due for that so i'll show you guys what i'm going to do for those uh just to be a little bit safer so i still have the same final four it's not the same i guess because i'm taking north carolina but like i said i have north carolina or michigan whoever wins that game is going to the final four and so we still have villanova duke arizona north carolina and the arizona fu tour continues all the way to villanova but I'm standing strong with my Villanova pick. I mean, I know they've they're per, they're perennial number one and two seed chokers. UConn, NC State, Wisconsin. It just feels like they they screw me every year. But this is the year we're doing it. This year, this is going to be like 20, 2016, not like twenty thirteen, fourteen, or seventeen. Or we're, we're doing we're doing it this year, Villanova. But we're doing. I'm sticking with my score. I like my score for this game, 82 to 77. I do like that score, but that's going to do it for this. Um, we made some changes. We ha I feel more comfortable with my Marshall pick. We still got Davidson, Marshall, Loyola, Illinois, New Mexico State, College of Charleston. We got five ups to six upsets with Arizona State, Syracuse. So we got six upsets. Not, not too bad, six upsets. Uh, probably a little bit too many upsets. I probably need to narrow that down to four five four or maybe maybe i'll just take kentucky to be safe maybe i don't think i really want to take them but maybe just to be safe i'll take them and then maybe i'll take wichita state just to be safe um but no one ever did great in a bracket playing it 100 percent safe and no one had fun like it ain't fun picking a bunch of one seeds so uh that's gonna do it guys uh hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll hit you guys with the uh kind of safe bracket where i gotta turn it in on uh, tonight or tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.